Welcome to Yichuan Park. My name is Song. I started to make tutorials for Yichuan self-study recently. I've made almost 40 videos. My skills of video shooting, editing, and sound recording are so amateur. But the feedback I received has been so much more positive than I thought. It's very encouraging. Thank you very much. In this video, I'd like to talk about how to learn Yichuan properly and efficiently. Yichuan has seven steps. We first study Zhang, then Shili, then Mo Cha Bu, then Fa Li, etc. But the seven steps are not like grade 1 to grade 7 at school. We all know that when we finish the grade 1, we'd never come back to grade 1. In Yichuan, it doesn't work like that. Here is the typical two-year timetable of Yichuan study for a beginner with zero martial art experience. For the first four months, practice parallel step stances. For the next four months, practice both parallel and combat step stances. For the next two months, start to practice Shi Li while keeping Zhan Zhuang practice. For the next two months, start to practice Mo Cha Bu while keeping Zhan Zhuang practice. Mo Cha Bu is essentially Shi Li of foot steps, so for the next two months, start to combine Shi Li and Mo Cha Bu while keeping Zhan Zhuang practice. For the next two months, start to practice Fa Li while keeping Zhan Zhuang and Shi Li practice. For the next two months, start to practice Shi Shen while keeping Zhan Zhuang and Shi Li practice. Since Shi Shen is a supplemental exercise to Fa Li, which you will learn later, so for the next two months, start to combine Fa Li and Shi Shen while keeping Zhan Zhuang and Shi Li practice. For the next two months, start to practice pushing hands while keeping Zhan Zhuang, Shi Li, and Fa Li practice. For the next two months, start to practice sparring while keeping Zhan Zhuang, Shi Li, and Fa Li practice. The last two steps, pushing hands and sparring, require two practitioners and an instructor. I hope I can find a way to teach them in videos. You surely need to find a partner for yourself. So we say that Yichuan study is spirally progressive. We ought to practice Zhan Zhuang every day since it's the most important step. I've made the basic tutorials for the first three steps. Many viewers are practicing the three steps at the same time. If you have some Yichuan experience, it's alright to do so. If you have zero Yichuan experience, you should focus on Zhan Zhuang for the first few months. I'm sorry I should have clarified this earlier, but don't worry if you tried Shi Li and Mo Cha Bu already. It's always alright to try new things. Mastering Zhan Zhuang at a high level is prerequisite to the rest of the steps. The longer you Zhan Zhuang, the easier it will be for you to master the rest of the steps. From now on, please focus on Zhan Zhuang only. In the old days, students were required to Zhan Zhuang for three years before moving to the next step. While the world has changed, no one has that patience and it's not necessary anymore. However, if you only want the health benefits, Zhan Zhuang is enough. You don't even need to bother the rest of the steps. Put all your effort on Zhan Zhuang. We will discuss the health effectiveness of Zhan Zhuang in the future. This treatment is slow, but the result can be assured. I'm going to make plenty of drills for Zhan Zhuang soon. Those drills will help beginners master Zhan Zhuang gradually. See you then.